What's going on guys, this is Maury, Pat, and Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. We've got a fresh release from Founders. Yes we do. This is their newest out of their backstage series. Thank you Vanna. Uh, <laughs> this is Doom, formerly known as Hands of Doom from the brewery. It's a 10% double IPA aged in bourbon barrels. Just came out on Monday. Today's Friday. We're looking at about five days old on this thing. <laughs> There's no shortage of bourbon in the aroma. There's not. No. And it's like, I get that like kind of butterscotch toffee yes. bourbon out of this yes. thing. I get butterscotch, I get toffee. A hint of vanilla. Personally, not a hint, bro. Yeah, I get a I get, shitload of me vanilla. Me too, I get a lot of vanilla. I also fun. get some hops. Yeah, Definitely. there's 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 a crispness to this beear yeah. and the aroma. It's almost unnatural, yeah. man. It, I mean, I'm it's like a different I'm so smell. used to smelling bourbon barrel aged stouts. Right. Yes. The, the crispness in this is very surprising. Yeah. Like, it's definitely... Holy cow. It's a unique smelling beer, man. I mean, I can't even get enough of this aroma. It smells like a Butterfinger. I yeah. mean, really. It smells <laughs> yes. like a Butterfinger. Tell me you I'm don't sorry. get... I just get crap loads of vanilla, vanilla out of this thing. Vanilla and Vanilla brown yeah. yeah. I mean, oh this thing God. is just... All those buttery candies like toffee and... Yeah, uh, throw them in a glass, liquefy yeah. them, you got this beer. Absolutely. Let's, yeah, get let's, let's get into this one. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers. Wow. That is interesting. This reminds me amazingly of Kentucky Bourbon Barrel. Yes. Yes. Dude, that was my first initial thought, and I knew you were going to say it before <laughs> you said it. I'm with you 100%. To me, it reminds me of... Bolt Cutter Jr. without the maple. I get like kind of an American barley wine flavor out of this beer. I don't but think this not, thing has the malts to back it. You're right. You yeah, know what I mean? I was just going to say that, but without the huge malt backbone of, a mar of yeah. an American barley wine. Um, but it's reminiscent of it. Yeah. Personally, I get tons of, I get a lot of hops out of it. I get a lot of hops. I get a ton of vanilla, some caramel, some bourbon. And... I, I hate to say it, but I even said it in my review. I did a written review of this on Beer Advocate. Somehow, you would think that all those flavors would clash. But somehow, Founders pulls it off. Mm -hmm. They pull it off. I mean, I'm, I see your comparison, Dave. And, you know, but I got to roll with Pat. I mean, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel uh, Pale Ale is... A, a beer that I'm very, very familiar with. And this beer has just so many similarities to that beer. From the look of it, to the taste of it, to the smell of it. I mean, the only difference is, is there is definitely an undeniable difference in hops. Yeah. This beer has way more hops yeah. than that beer. This beer but, has a ton of hops. But other than that, I mean, if, if I had to, you know, give... A comparison to the viewers that would be my top comparison it has a nice syrupy mouth feel I'll it. agree with that yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to say it's thick it's more it's viscous not. and you know it's a real yeah. like syrupy mouth it has feel body to it absolutely. it definitely has yeah. some body to I'm gonna it. yeah for I mean it's on the upper side of medium for sure yeah on this one I'm teetering I'm gonna go 4.25 I think I love the blend of flavors. And like I said, somehow Founders pulls it off. They got that big vanilla, bourbon, hops, a little caramel, and uh, that nice oak, kind of dry oak finish. Uh, yeah, it's great. 4.25, bordering 4.5. I mean, I'm this close to going 4.5 on this beer. Um, this beer, I... 
To be honest, I was not expecting this beer to be as good as it was. <laughs> I, 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 I like Founders. I like all, all kinds of stuff that Founders does. But uh, when, you know, bourbon barrel aged Dublin IPA. Like, you don't know what you to know, expect. I don't think, you know, does that really go together? Does it not? I mean, but I've actually been very pleasantly surprised by this beer. It's, it's a, a fantastic mix of flavors. It's well balanced. <laughs> Balanced guy I mean, over here. <laughs> you got just the the mix of caramel, that strong vanilla flavor, the bourbon flavor, the oak on the back end, and then just this nice, just very round hop flavor throughout. Mm -hmm. That none of the flavors in this beer are so bold that you that it washes out any of the other flavors. So that says a lot for this beer. I'll give this beer a four and a half out of five. All right. <laughs> The big sigh. I love it, man. There's something big coming, guys. Hold on. <laughs> I was contemplating this. You know, I'm going to go 4.25. Um, I was almost going to go 4.5 on this. I think that for as hoppy as this is, this works really, really well. Better than I anticipated. The only thing, you know, as I'm sipper, sipping this beer and going through the review here, the only thing... I feel like if the hops were dialed back just a little bit m more to showcase that, you know, bourbon and huge vanilla and just like, you know, butterscotch flavor, uh, this thing would be an easy 4.5. But still, I don't think the hops get in the way. I mean, I like the way this is working together. And guys, if you're on the fence and you just yeah. don't think this beer sounds good, I think it's worth trying. It's Split a bottle yeah. with a buddy and, and, and pour yourself up yeah. a glass. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. We're four beers deep. No, that would be a surprise. We talked a lot about this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so, it's so complicated. Complicated.